Today, we will connect the safe I.O. board, the DSQC1042, to the controller. It's external to the controller and can be mounted on a DIN rail. Let's start by connecting the small socket for the power supply. Next, we need to connect the socket for the output signals. Then, we need to connect the socket for the input signals. With all the sockets in place, we now need to connect the power and the ground cables. Let's start with the ground cable. Insert it in the safe I.O. board. Connect the opposing end of the X19 connector on the controller. Next, we will connect the 24 volt power cable. Insert it in the safe I.O. board. Connect the opposing end to the X19 connector on the controller, right here. Note that you also need to use two additional wires to provide 24 volt power to the output socket of the I.O. board. Connect the opposing ends to the X19 connector of the controller. Now, we have supplied the power to the I.O. board. Next, we need to connect an Ethernet cable to the I.O. board in the controller. Then, we connect the opposing end to the safe I.O. board. And we're done.